please welcome Felicity Hoffman, everybody. Hi, my name's Craig Ferguson. <laughs> uh, I know, you look so different on TV. On TV, you're short with dark hair, and here you're tall I'm and tall. Scottish. I, I look short on television? You do. Uh, well, on the John Stewart show, doesn't he look yeah. short? <laughs> short. Now, I, thought, I thought you were the head writer. I, I thought, isn't that nice? They got the head writer of John Stewart to host the fun program, and he's yeah, so but funny. I, you had seen me host <laughs> the event. I got up there, I said, my name's Craig Ferguson, I hosted the I event. I knew you were Craig Ferguson. Were you about, <laughs> were you about that night? Okay, just a little. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I knew you were Craig Ferguson, the head writer of John Stewart. Right. You're the talent booker. I wasn't sure. T head writer, talent booker. <laughs> it's all something I can aim for in the future. That's, That's what I'm looking know. forward to. Congratulations on the Desperate Housewives. That's Thank fantastic. You. Are you uh, are you having a nice time working with the uh... <laughs> with the ladies? Yeah, I don't am. you all cat fight and everything and scratch <laughs> each other? And just say yes. Okay, yes. And, uh... It's you know when Eva's not drunk, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> and those stories about me in the bathhouses—that was one time, and I was really drunk. Yeah, uh... you got to let off steam, girl. <laughs> yeah. you've got to let off steam. Exactly. What is the set like? Are you you get along all right with everybody? Yeah, we get along great. It's a really <laughs> nothing. I you I, you won't believe anything. No, I, say. I don't believe you. No, 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 no I don't. No, I do. <laughs> been waiting for us to fight since before we aired. They're, every week we read the magazines to see who's fighting who. But actually we get along great. Yeah? Yeah, it's a great group of people and they're really funny and really, you know, everyone's been a professional for a long time and works really hard. Now, the, the show itself has only been on a year. I find that hard to I believe. Know. Isn't, Isn't that, that wild? amazing? So has your life changed a lot in the last year? Has it gone crazy? Do people follow you saying, are you desperate? Are you desperate? <laughs> are you John Stewart? Are you John Stewart? <laughs> are you John Stewart? Are you John Stewart? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, the other girls, the other women, I should say, they have cars waiting outside their houses and uh, people following them to get their nails done and coffee and stuff, but not me. Why, why not? Because you play the mum. Right? You Is that the, why? I think because and you play the mom. And moms are just always marginalized, and who cares? She's well, what do you think? Do, do they? Are moms marginalized? Yeah, yeah, moms did are you want, When you read the script, did you want to play the mom, or did you want to play the, you know, sexy bits? <laughs> I said B-I-T-S, by the way, sexy bits. <laughs> well, they're all really well written, so I went in. I wanted to play all of them. I mean, I wanted to play um, Brie, Marsha Cross's character. I wanted to play Terry's character. I thought... You know, the Hispanic, the Hispanic supermodel would be sort of a stretch, but I was willing yeah. to try. Hey, you'd, I could you'd do be good it. at that. I don't have lips, but I have other things. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, yeah. Thank you. Yes, you do. They're clapping for my yes, other things. Yes, you do. <laughs> you'd have been fabulous at that. Now, that, that Terry Hatcher, she was, uh, she was Superwoman, wasn't she? No. <laughs> She was? Yes, she, she was. She was super, has she got magic powers or not? Yes, she goes like this and she flies through. Oh, the no, she was Lois Lane, wasn't she? Yes, she was Lois Lane. Before the, the Desperate Housewives, you had done a, a bunch of pilots, didn't you? I had, yeah. I did a bunch of pilots and I did a couple series that were all good, but just died early deaths. So I thought I was sort of the anthrax of series. I thought I was just going to kill them all. Everyone's like, anthrax, I love that joke. Um, so I thought... <laughs> Anthrax, you say. What about, I thought I would kill it. I thought if I was in it, it wouldn't live very long. What? So I've been oh, wrong. What, every show you did? Yeah. But The Desperate Housewives is going to be on for years. In your mouth to God's ears. No, it is. You're, you're, you're going to be like, you'll get Desperate rich. old biddies is yeah. what will be the at the end. What happens, what happens this year? What happens? Do, do people go nuts? Um, I go back to work. Yes. The mystery continues. Uh, Marsha's husband's dead. Oh, that's a shame. So that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, so that's, she's she's that's available. Bad. All right. Which is always exciting. Oh, so in real life, her husband's dead? No. Oh, all right. All right. That, cause that would be funny. That would be horrible. Are you slowing your game down for me? <laughs> is he usually? No, it's, that it's, that it's, just, it's just that slow. It's just that <laughs> slow. We're playing on clay yeah, here. It's late at night. <laughs> Where it's late at night, everyone's a little, you know, I mean, that's the way it is. That's the way it is at 12.30. The 12.30 shows are different. Yeah, it's not a performance-enhancing drug, is it, in uh, your case? I, I, I have nothing to say about any of that <laughs> at all. Now, listen, I've interviewed your husband, your real-life husband, yeah. uh, Bill Macy, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> uh, now, have you, ever, have you ever acted with him? Do you ever act? Because he's a good actor. You're a good actress. Do you ever get together and act? <laughs> 
can't talk about it. Why? No, um, uh, yes, we do all the time. We, uh, we sort of grew up in the New York theater, and so he directed me in a bunch of things, and I act with him a couple times at Lincoln Center, and he produces and writes his own television movies, and because I'm sleeping with him, I get a part. Nice. It works. Yeah. Yeah, it works really nice. well. Nice. And uh, so I act with him all the time. He's great. He Does, doesn't cause any problems when you're working with some of you. I mean, I don't know if I'd like to work with any of my ex-wives. How many do you have? Oh, hundreds. <laughs> uh, hundreds. I can't keep track. Uh, I'll think about it. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Felicity Huffman, everybody. We'll be right back. My lovelies, I'm here with Felicity Huffman. She's from the Desperate Housewives. And now you've got the Emmy nomination. Are you going to go and uh, are you going to go or are you not going to go? I'm going to go. But you know what I really like? What? That he's so close. Yeah. That yeah. you scoot your chair over. I and do. I come up. For yeah, a chat. it's so great, and it's as if I'm really interested, and you're right in there. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's. I am. Favorite. I am interested. I swear. For your next wife, this works really well. Well. This. Well, whole I tried thing. this on the last two. It didn't work at all. I kind of creeped <laughs> them out. Oh really? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't go on talk shows with my ex-wives. I'm just saying when you're at dinner or something and you're chatting them up, this whole approach of kind of, you're fascinating, I have to move my chair over to be next to you works really well. My heart's kind of going like... Slow All down. Right. <laughs> okay. Slow down, girl. No, so you're going to go to the Emmys, right? Yeah, we're going to go to the Emmys and... You going with Bill? <laughs> yeah. Is he go. nominated for anything? Yeah, he's oh, nominated thank God for, for that. <laughs> for a, a movie he wrote and acted in called The Wool Cap. I saw it. Yeah, he was on your talking about. I knit that cap. You knitted the uh -huh, cap? I knitted the cap. Wow, and are you nominated for that? I Best. am, yes. <laughs> Best, Best knitter. knitting. <laughs> Best knitter. What, so would it be awkward if you were nominated and he wasn't? Would that cause a little, you know? I don't think so. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I don't think so. He's really, um, he's really generous and giving and loving and I don't think it'd be a problem. And we're gonna stay up till I'm not kidding, 10, 15. Wow. 10. We have two small kids, so you know what it's like. 8.30 and you turn into a pumpkin. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to take drugs and stay up till 10, 15. Whoa, hey now. Yeah. Hey now. Couple Advil. Woo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Advil and a cup of coffee. You're flying, living yeah. the dream, baby. So you're going, you're going to the Emmys. Do you get a designer dress and all that? Do, they, do the designers send you their stuff? They do. They do. Designers that wouldn't dress me two years ago. They were like, no, I'm sorry. We don't have any dresses for who? Uh, now are sending me dresses, which is actually very kind of them. I shouldn't make fun of them. Thank you no, for those no, no, dresses. No, 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 no. Yeah, and have you made your decision yet? No, I haven't. May I suggest, you know when Bjork <laughs> went to the Oscars dressed like a... A goose? Yeah, the big a goose swan? outfit. Yeah, yeah. Dr dress up as some kind of pigeon. <laughs> and you'll steal all the paparazzi shots. That's the way to do it. Are Get you the going to the Emmys? I will be there. I'm presenting one. Maybe to you. <laughs> yeah. huh? Will you dress up as a... As a pigeon? As a pigeon? Tonight, I will after the show dress up as a pigeon. <laughs> okay. I often dress up as, uh, you know, poultry. <laughs> it's farm animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. If so, you do it, I'll do it. But dress up as a bird for the Emmys. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can. Why? Well, I don't know. You, I can't dress going to the Emmys and fancy. I've never been before. Are you nervous? Yes. You get a really good gift basket. Do you really? If you're I, no, I, I'm not nominated for an Emmy. I know, you're presenting. Yeah, I'm presenting an Emmy. That's where I'm... you get the good ones. Really? Mm -hmm. What do they give you? Trips to Bali. Stop. And... It's true. <laughs> Girlfriend! <laughs> a trip to Bali? Do you like that? <laughs> it's a queer eye for That's the Scottish so guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We need something in plot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I wish you luck at the Emmys. I, I really you. hope you get it, and I really hope that I get it to present it to you. Uh, <laughs> Felicity Hoffman, everybody. Thank you very we'll much. We'll be right back. We'll see you. <laughs> Felicity Hoffman, everybody. Felicity Hoffman. Are you all Thank right you. with that microphone? Are yes, you doing okay? I mic'd gotta... myself. Yeah, I can see I think that. that's illegal in some states. What, miking yourself? Miking yourself. No, no, it's all right. Is that some kind of euphemism for some kind of other thing? Euphemism? 
Thank you. Euthanism. <laughs> no, euthanism. That's a lovely dress. Thank you. It's a very, very nice dress. Thank you. I wish I could wear a dress. It's Thanksgiving. I'm still all full of turkey. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. I have to unbuckle my pants. <laughs> That's TMI. What are you going on? Like, you never unbuckled your pants at Thanksgiving. Shut the hell up! Like, you didn't... I, do you believe I'm being judged by people? Do you unbuckle your pants at Thanksgiving? I, I don't even wear pants at Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. Sweat in my pants. family, it's a tradition. No, we all go pantless. Really? Just undies. Really? That must be... It's a be... horrible sight. Yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, where are you from? <laughs> No, I mean... A nudist colony. No, 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 but what uh, city are you from? We're, I'm from Colorado. That's what I'm thinking, so it's cold there at Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Tight little cheeks walking around. No. I don't know why I got onto this. No, of course Tight. we wear pants. Yeah. I don't know. You, yeah, yeah, you, you, uh, they wear let's pants. Let's move ahead. What part of Colorado are you from? Uh, Aspen, believe it or really? not. Really? I yeah. love Aspen. It's very nice. Do you do the skiing? I did. When I was growing up, we would ski three days a week and go to school four days a week. That sounds all right. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all right. You, do you still do it? I do, but you know that time, do you guys have this thing where you hit a certain age and you become your parents? Like, oh, yeah, my yeah. husband Bill now goes around and when he eats nuts, he eats them just like his dad. And <laughs> I now good. drive like my mother and I now ski like my mother. I used to ski cool and aggressive and carving, carving good arcs, as they say. Right. And now I'm like, dee, dee, dee. <laughs> Down the slope. I've started to boring. do a thing with my mouth that my dad used to do. I do this. <laughs> I suck my teeth and I'm starting to wear my pants really high. And I wear a lot of gold bond medicated powder for absolutely no reason. I don't know what it is. Why, why do you suck your teeth? Um, well, there's, there's, there's still food in them. I'm hungry. I don't know. I just, I kind of do it. It's just a, a habit, I guess. I know. My dad used to whistle as well. Can you whistle? I can whistle. Really? Can you, do you whistle when you're going to like, like, my dad was a great whistler, I can't really Did he whistle it. at particular times? Yeah, when he was, uh, he used to go out early in the morning to get uh, milk and uh, bread rolls, and he would always be whistling then. I know a lot of guys that whistle... During sex? No. Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of guys that... means that... they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> whistle while you work? Yeah, oh, no, well, they, they, uh... <laughs> No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. No, they whistle right after their, uh, they, they go poop. After they go poop? Are you telling us the actor William Macy whistles after he poops? That's what you're saying, aren't you? No, you are. He's like, well, no. that's done. <laughs> I have whistle to go now. It's really no, nice. No, stop. <laughs> No, stop. Do you yeah. have a big family for Thanksgiving? Do you do the whole... We do. We do an orphan's Thanksgiving here. We were included many years ago before we had kids with the Tarsuses. I don't know. if Do you know, like, Jamie Tarsus and her father? Oh, she used Jay. to run ABC. Yeah, yes, yeah, she yeah, did. I know what you Wonderful. mean. Yeah, yeah. So we were adopted by them, and they're, they're sort of thanks, orphan's Thanksgiving. Like people who are from out of town yeah, and exactly. get together, right? And, um, and it was great. We'd have this amazing meal, and then we'd stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning playing running charades, which is so fun, and w drinking and smoking. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what's running charades? I don't know what that is. You don't? No. Oh, my God, the best game in the world. Mm, you can go to okay. a... No, it really is. Okay. Okay, other than cricket or uh, whatever, uh, you know, uh, some <laughs> Scottish... Uh, wrong country, <laughs> but okay. Uh, uh, so... You, um... It's, it's charades, you know, charades, right? That, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like, sounds like parades. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, yep. <laughs> sounds like parades. Okay, you're not going to be on my team. But anyway, <laughs> there's one person in the middle that gives the clues, and there are three teams or four teams in different rooms, and you yell, go, and each team sends a representative into the person in the middle, and they go, gone with the wind. And then you run back to your team and you try and get them to guess gone with the wind. And they guess gone with the wind. And then they run out and send another one. And it just becomes vicious. I mean, people that, you know, I, I, I remember playing with Sally Field. And at the beginning of the evening, I was going, oh, Miss Field, I love your work. And, and, and you're amazing. And, and it's such a pleasure to sit down and have dinner with you. And within 15 minutes of the game, I was like, you dumb bitch, can't you get this? <laughs> Bitch. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, bitch is fine, but I don't want to be on your team anyway if you yell at people. All right, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Felicity Hawkins, everyone. Welcome back, everybody. 
Welcome back. I'm here with the delightful Felicity Huffman from the Desperate Housewives, of course. You've done Trans America, by the way. You didn't. I, I think it is a, it's, it's a travesty you didn't get the Oscar for that movie. <laughs> well, I was, thank I was, you. I was, I was furious. I wrote to my congressman. Well, I, <laughs> I texted him, you know. <laughs> Congressman, you're writing to the wrong person. You've got to write to the Academy or something. But anyway, who is the Academy? I never know who they are. Who are the Academy? People who've won us. Oscars before? Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> they ain't me. I'm not in the Academy. <laughs> they're people who have won, so. or I think people that have just won before. I don't think you're part of the Academy if you've been nominated, but I'm not sure. Maybe I am. No, I think yeah, you, you are. You must be in the Academy, aren't you? Maybe I am. Right. I don't know. Maybe that's why they didn't give you the Oscar. <laughs> she's not one of us. No, she can't have it. <laughs> She has no idea if she's one of us or not. She's an idiot. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about uh, your uh, your your book? Did you write a book? Is that true? I did. I wrote a book, which is just so silly. But anyway, this is what happened. I had my first kid six years ago, and I thought my life is over, and I'll never work again, and right. no one will ever hire me, and. Um, and so I turned to my best friend and I said, we should write that book about boyfriends. Called, it's called The Practical Handbook for the Boyfriend. It's for and, men, then. Yeah, this it's for men, but girls can buy it for their fella. Right. And um, it's basically, you know, how to be a good boyfriend and still respect yourself in the morning. And, what is you know, it all like, oh, remember to listen and, you know, <laughs> treasure her and all that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, good, because I never heard any of that stuff before. Oh, pay attention, you know, nod and go, oh, yeah, you're right, that bitch is trying to destroy you, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is it that? It's, it's that, isn't it? It's a little bit of that, but yeah. I have to say, it's also a lot of shortcuts about, you know, how to get without really trying. There's that in there. It's true. Watching. Yeah. And I have to say that is the one word that my husband said to cut down on. He was like, please cut down on the use of in the book. At least in the book. All right, so I'm just crashing and burning here. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm interested in the word that you use for, we of course won't be able to hear it when they, because there'll be a beepy noise probably oh. when you say that word. But it's an interesting thing. Can you tell me how to do this? <laughs> Tell me how you get this uh, beep noise without really trying. What? It's about, it's about listening, isn't it? It's about listening, respect her feelings, go, yeah, that's right, that bitch is trying to destroy you. A big you. thing is presents. Presents? Yeah. You know how guys are always lame about giving presents? Yeah. You know, well, I don't even know what to give her. And right. so I got her, you know, boxer shorts and, you know, bookends. Right. Um... So there's a whole section about presents. I find cash is a good present. <laughs> that says a lot about the women you yeah. date. <laughs> <Excellent. All right. laughs> cash, cash or a, or a credit card number is usually fine. <laughs> okay, and they're going to bleep me? No, they're not going to bleep you. So listen, you, 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 wrote, you wrote a book about uh, for how to be a good boyfriend for men. Did you give this book to your husband? Well, it's, it's, it hasn't... Ex yes. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't need it, to tell you the truth, and he would always come down into the office while we were writing it and help us out. Because you need a guy's perspective as well. I see, and is his name on the book as someone who helped you out? No. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> so he was being a good boyfriend then? He was being a good boyfriend. Every husband should be a good boyfriend as well. See, now there's an interesting thing. You say that. What's the difference between a husband and a boyfriend? Because I have failed miserably at being a husband. I'm not a bad boyfriend, but I'm very bad at being a husband. <laughs> What happens? Why do you suddenly turn into a bad husband? I don't know. I don't. I. I. I, I don't really know the answer to that. I think I probably stop listening and and, <laughs> and buy. Uh, feelings. Uh, yeah, and buy boxer shorts and bookends <laughs> or whatever it is. What's the difference between a boyfriend and a husband? A boyfriend um, scintillates you, and a boyfriend decides to entice you, and a boyfriend excites you, and a boyfriend appreciates you, and. This is a straight guy we're talking about here, right? <laughs> This, cause this sounds an awful lot like a gay friend to me. Have you seen on the internet, Lady Sitter? Have no, you seen what's that? This? No, no, what's oh that? Oh my God, this is genius. There's something on the internet, you can go and it says Lady Sitter. Right. And, uh, and uh, you see these guys coming around, they go, oh, the game, come over to my house and watch the game tonight. And he goes, man, I can't, my girlfriend, you know, I told her I'd spend the night with her. And suddenly this U-Haul pulls up. And these big guys wheel out this guy on one of those, you know, things that you stand in, sort of tied up. And they wheel him in, and he's this really sweet gay guy, and it's called a lady sitter. And so he comes in, and he hangs out with the girlfriend. And so the guy gets to go watch the game. And they're like, 
I have got to get me one of those. I have got to. Listen, we're completely out of time. You're a charming woman. Thank you for coming in for Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving to you and your Thank family. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be right back, everybody. we we'll right back. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Felicity Huffman, everybody. Felicity Huffman. Felicity, welcome. Thank you. How lovely. My mic fell off. My oh, your microphone here. I'll fix it for you. There you are. Let me just do oh. this. Oh, oh, hello. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness, you've got a whole collection of stuff down here, haven't you? Let me just uh, pop Don't this on. Don't steal the... anything. Thank no, you. No, no, it's all right. No. Move it around a little, but I'll be fine. How are you? I'm really you look great. sensational. Thank you very much. You look very, very nice. Can... May I ask? I took a shower for you. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'm honoured. <laughs> Is Hoffman a German name? <laughs> It's a German name. It's, it's from Hoffman, isn't it? It's Dutch, because it's oh, you. Dutch. It used to be Van Hoffman. Right. Holland, so, it's Dutch. so the, the Dutch. The Holland's kind of the Canada of Germany, isn't it? It okay. is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been over there? To Holland or yeah. to, to Ho Germany? Holland. Yeah, I have. You, you've seen where your people are from? Uh, I, was, I was there for two days on my way over to Africa. You're talking about uh, a weekend in Amsterdam and you can't remember it, aren't you? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's all I remember is Amsterdam, woo -hoo! And then, uh, you know, it's nice to wait. They're very civilized people, the Dutch. Very nice. As are the Germans, of course. Which, which one? Who are the Oh, these Germans lovely uh, girls over there, they're German. Like they're, oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, aren't they lovely? Look. Yeah, no. Now, the interesting thing is they don't speak a word of English, so they have no idea just how uncomfortable I have become this evening trying not to say anything that's in any way remotely incendiary about the Germans. My husband spent, was shot something in Germany and the only phrase he learned was, excuse me, I don't speak German. And he kept getting the weirdest responses from people until finally this older German man, he went, uh, excuse me, I don't speak German. And the guy went, no. You don't speak German. I speak German. So Bill was going around going, "Excuse me, you don't speak German." Oh, oh Germany. <laughs> he wasn't very popular. <laughs> you do look sensational, though. Have you been running and jumping and skipping and hopping? Are you doing the triathlon thing again? I, you know, I keep getting credit for doing the triathlon, and right. I keep telling the truth. And at this point, I should just lie. I just do the running part of it. So you just do the athlon then? There's no try. <laughs> well, you, are you allowed to do that? If you're a celebrity, you are. Because oh. we're <laughs> and they know. <laughs> it's a German word, everyone. That's a word which means um uh, strong. Strong, yeah. In a way. Uh, <laughs> no, you. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I'm not touching that. Uh, you have a team of three, so one does the running, one does the biking, and one does. Oh, the do swimming. you do three celebrities then? Is it three of the desperate you housewives only... girls or something? <laughs> <laughs> you... Then we'd be going down going. <laughs> Um, no, it's just one celebrity. You can have three, but you just need one. Right. Who else does it in the celebrity world? Um, David Duchovny does it. Oh, he's it. never, he never stops. He's doing push-ups all the time. Yeah, yeah. He's John always... Cryer does it. John Cryer? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's surprising. Oh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> just never had him down as the athletic sort, that's all. Yeah. Really? Right. What does he do, swim? God, I think he does all three. And what are you doing now? Have you finished working on the housewives? We for finished this? Saturday at 3 o'clock in the morning. I finished at 3. A lot of people finished at 8 o'clock in the morning. Good Lord. So what are you going to do for the summer then? Um, I have a little bit of time and then I'm going to do a movie in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where I've Ooh, never been. Nice. No, it's nice down there. You'll it's like hot, it. Right? Yeah, yeah, very, a lot of very ghosts. Hot. I hear there's a lot of ghosts. It's very ghostly. Now, are you interested in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> I'm scared of ghosts. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. I think, you, you know, there's a haunted bathroom just outside the studio. <laughs> Something terrible happened in there. Yeah, I know. I think that was on the news. Yeah, no. It's. It, uh, do you go? Do you? Do you? Do you? You know, have a. Do you try and contact the spirits or anything? No, no. My mother, a long time, a long time ago, said, "You don't do that. That's scary. That's real. really. You shouldn't touch that." Do you get frightened? But, um, yeah, go ahead. No, no. But this movie is kind of a spooky. Uh, twisted scary movie and so people who have read it or people that uh, I'm working with on it go listen af after shooting you should really do sort of like a ceremony to separate yourself from the movie and oh oh and this other woman said please put little uh, containers of kosher salt like in your dressing room and at your hotel room it'll scare the ghosts away have you ever heard of that 
No, I, so you put out salt to scare away the ghost? They do can't that be. face again. Do that, that face again. What? That. <laughs> yeah, that face? Oh, I know, that's one of my many faces. <laughs> now, what about, the, uh, what about the family? How are the kids? They're great. Yeah, what age are they now? They're six and seven. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. rather lovely. Yeah. I know. What, you Remember gonna... I saw you when I was... Um, this will be boring, but you can cut it out later. Um, <laughs> if we cut out the boring bits, there'd be no show. <laughs> I was looking at schools and I was visiting your oh, kids' school. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but you didn't go there in the end? I didn't go. No, no it's I wanky been enough there. for you. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a little too wacky for me. It's all right. So it's a little too wacky for you. So the kids are in school. The kids are in school. They're doing well. First yeah. grade and kindergarten. And oh, that's rather lovely, well. isn't it? Do they make you breakfast and stuff? Yeah. Can you swear on your show? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my seven-year-old came tearing around the kitchen and out the front doors running for her life and my six-year-old was real close after and burst through the kitchen doors and says this and we all hear it and she goes <laughs> which i think is a perfect sentence and says everything i hate you you dumb <laughs> felicity hoffman everybody This is from Jacob in Cambridge, Massachusetts, who says, uh, Craig, when it comes to the idea of causality, do you tend to side more with Kant or Hume? Hume! You stupid... I got back the hell. <laughs> Kant? Kant? You know that Immanuel Kant, the yeah. philosopher, um, uh, interestingly and rather amusingly, uh, never ever had sex in his life. <laughs> and his name was Immanuel Kant. <laughs> had the audacity to tell other people how to live. <laughs> well, he can't. <laughs> Please don't applaud or I'll keep going.